Hello everyone, this is a brief tutorial on how to set up a dedicated RecFest server online. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get into our RecFest folder. So I'm going to go ahead and open up File Explorer. And from here I'm going to go to the drive I have my Steam folder on. Um, so go into Steam, and then from here we're going to go into Steam Apps. Then Common. And then finally, RecFest. And this is the folder where we're going to be able to find all of our um, server files. So the one specifically that you're going to look for is this initial server config. It's a CFG file. If you've made a server before, you're going to see just a server config file. So I'm going to go ahead and real quickly open this up. And you can open this up in any text editor. Uh, I prefer uh, Visual Studio Code. So that's what I'm going to open it with. All right, so we can just take a look through here. This is where we can put all of our settings that we want. Server name, welcome message, password, all that stuff. And then we're gonna have some ports here. And here in just a minute, I'm gonna tell you how to forward these ports. But you can scroll down, you can see that you can pretty much set everything up in the server from here. You can even set up an event loop. We're not gonna go through all of that uh, in this tutorial. Uh, later, I will post a more in-depth tutorial on how to go through all of this. Um, but for now, we're just gonna leave this all as default, except for I did put in a server name and a welcome message. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this, and then we can uh, just take a look at these, and these are the ports we're gonna need to forward. So we'll go ahead and we will close this config file. And I'm gonna leave File Explorer open because we're gonna need it here in a second. All right, so if you don't know how to get into your router, I'm gonna real quickly show you how to do that. And if you do know how to, you can just go uh, to routerlogin.com or .net or whatever your router is located at. So we're gonna go into Windows and then we're gonna type in CMD. It's gonna bring up our command prompt. Uh, and then from there, we're gonna type in IP config. And then this is going to give us a bunch of numbers. Um, and specifically what we're looking for is our default gateway. That's going to be your router's address. And how we get into that is you just open up any web browser. I'm going to use Chrome. Bring it over. All right, here's Chrome. I'm going to leave this on one side. And then I'm just going to type this directly into the address bar in Google Chrome. All right. Uh, it's going to ask you for a username and password. If you've never logged into your router before, it's most likely just admin and password, all lowercase. Uh, if it is just that, I recommend changing your password to something more secure. All right, so now we're logged into our router. And from here, uh, we're going to be looking for advanced settings because we're looking specifically for port forwarding. Uh, sometimes you'll see advanced over here. Uh, for us, it's a tab, and then we also have to click advanced setup. And then this is what we're looking for, port forwarding. All right, as you can see, there's no port forwarding here. So what we need to do is add some port forwards. So I'm just going to... Uh, click add custom service. Yours might just be add or something else. And click on that. And then from here, uh, you have the service name. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name mine RecFest1 because I'm lazy. And then from here, uh, I will have the, all the list of ports that you need to forward, but we're gonna do the first one. It's UDP 27015. And then you're going to see internal IP address or an, an option. And what we're going to want is whatever computer you're going to be hosting the server on. Uh, whether that's your current computer or some other computer on your network, you have to find it here. If it's on your current computer, you can actually take a look at the command prompt again. And then you have your IPv4 address, and that's the address of this specific computer on your local network. So since it's this one, we're going to go ahead and set up the server on the local network. Click this, apply. All right, there we go. We have our first port forward. Now let's go ahead and add the other three. All right, now that we have all of our ports forwarded that we need to, 
we can go ahead and close our internet browser and the command prompt. And we're going to go back into File Explorer. And from here, we're going to look at Start Server. And what this will do is if you just have the initial server config and you don't have a server config file, it will copy everything over from this and make a server config file. And then uh, it will go ahead and run your servers. We're going to go ahead and double click this. Here it is, the server config file that was just made. So if you do want to edit the uh, edit any settings in the server, you would just open this and edit the settings in there instead of this initial server config. Uh, and now this has popped up. You can see it's started the server. It's connected to Steam. So we should be able to actually get into our server now. There's our server. Um, if you want to make sure that your server comes to the top, I have mine favorited, but let's say you don't. Just hit this ping button and almost certainly it'll be the server on the top considering you're located where your server is. So you just click on this, connect. I think the default password was RecVest. I'm going to enter that in. And we should be able to connect to our server. Now we're in our server and that ends this tutorial. Uh, if you want a more advanced tutorial in my next video, I'm going to post uh, a pretty extensive guide to setting up your dedicated server. All right, goodbye everyone.